Welcome again back to Firewatch Part 3. We are currently on day two of this. Oh, we see a turtle here. How about that? Whoa, I, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm... This ought to be good. Let's see. Turt Reynolds. I do like Turt Reynolds. Let's go with that one. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. We're going to adopt him. Just shove him in our pocket. Well, that was an interesting start to the video. I can't believe I didn't see that when I went to get that supply cache. Anyway, uh... Let's continue. We were headed northward, as you see at the top. North of the canyon, we're checking out the communication lines. If you didn't see the last episode, go check that out. That was uh, a bit of talking between me and Delilah. Or Henry and Delilah, really. So, we are very north right now. I, maybe it wants us to go even farther? Let's do it. It just says head north, so there's no limit. If we go the wrong way, then uh, we're just exploring more of the map. So it's a win win here. I just really like the graphics on this game. It's very simple. It's not like it's supposed to be super realistic or anything, but it just, just looks really cool. Really cool landscaping, everything. Sorry if I check the map frequently. I just need to make sure I'm going in the correct direction here. Kind of looks like we are. We're, we need to head a little bit right. And then this this loops around a little bit here. There are a ton of lines here. I think. I wonder if they're all communication lines. I think there's something up here. There's a few beer cans. Meaning someone was here. Let's tell Delilah about it. Is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Well, this is going to be fun. We're going to get the scare a few of them. If you listened in there. I'm going to have some fun with this. See, I think there was something we could talk about there. Jonesy Lake, that's where they were yesterday, so... Two miles to the south. All she said was head back home and find clues. I really hope we find enough clues to find them and, uh, you know, go through with our plan. There's a backpack here. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Let's do it. See if I can grab it. Nice. What does it say on it? Brain Goodwin. Oh, Brian Goodwin. Brain, yes. 
was trying to read it upside down instead of reading the text at the bottom, but... Oh, that's cool. We got some rope and, uh, camera. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. Got to cough halfway through the summer. Definitely gonna use these, uh... This picture mode. It looks like we only have 17 left, but... I'm gonna try and make sure they use those up. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Didn't look like too much in there. So Brian Goodwin, that was the kid apparently. Look, just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Boulder. That's a great school. My cousin went there. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. No reply to that. And this is a new area. Burned. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I think that was a hint to uh, me having to find something here. Having a hell of a time getting this fucking Don't see anything though. Ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. Let's see where we're headed. She just said head back, so we're headed in the right direction, it seems like. Another one of these ropes. Got a ton of them, so use them all up while we can, right? This one's a longer, a longer climb down, it seems like. So this is where we were before. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. 
It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. All right, so we found our found our first clue. We're gonna go down this way. Can't really see it anymore over all these trees, but let's make our way over there. That's a new objective. I hope we have some fun with this. We actually do find them. I really hope we do. So I wonder if I didn't see that at all. Would we just keep going back to our lookout and not find them? I don't know if that would be a possibility, but maybe it would have. I think the music just keeps tuning in just randomly. It's just it's kind of weird. I do like it, but it's kind of just random. And it scares me quite a bit sometimes because it makes me feel like something's about to happen. That one was unlocked, so we didn't even need to... Maybe the teens got to it. Maybe that's why. There was a note in there. Let's take that. Pretty sure I saw a note. Maybe not. I lied. Oh, the note's on the bush. Okay. Let's see if this says anything. We can read this. Dave. That was 1986. I don't really remember when this game takes place, but it is, it's like around 89 or 90, I believe. Or maybe it's current. Maybe I'm just completely wrong, right? I actually don't know. Okay, so it's that direction. Yeah, we can see it. It's, you know, if it makes you feel it's a little farther. A member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm back at my shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill. You ready to give it another yeah. shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Uh. That's a little bit of a farther one, too. Okay, we're gonna keep following the smoke. This doesn't look too far now. Just right over this hill, really. If we want to go down here, that does look like the correct path. We'll we'll take the lower path for now. I believe we can come back up. Hopefully, we can climb the rope. Henry sure does look like a hefty man, so get, he can climb himself back up. I mean, climbing up actually might be easier than climbing down. So he can climb down. He can climb up. We'll just, we'll just put our trust into that. Can't really see it anymore, but we know it was right over this hill. We don't have to go too far this way. There's another supply box. Or supply cache is what they call it. There's a missing person thing right there. There's a lot of pine cones in here. I don't want any of them. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, 
Uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Music started to play again. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I don't think we want to go over this way, right? Maybe so. Is that where... I think we came from that way. I can't see the smoke anymore, so that's that's our problem right now. This is interesting. Left some beer for me. Kick it over real quick. I can report all this. A full case of beer left here. A full case. You found them? Yeah. But the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's the name of a magazine for girls. I don't know. Maybe they had a fight or something. It's that bad? It's not good. You've got that camera, right? Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Great. Who are they in this tent? Probably yeah, not. It's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone. Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. I guess we're just not gonna take our sheets back. It's whatever, on to day three. We're not gonna get too far into this. We're nearing the end of this episode, but hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I really am. It's been fun. Great experience. Hopefully we can get a few more. Oh, like I was saying earlier. Nail that thing up. There's the other wood. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh... You know, PC, or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Hmm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself.
yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely.